Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to talk some more about supplements and making your own. Now this is going to be in the form of a capsule. Now the last video I did, I've got a couple out where I did a vitamin supplement, a vitamin mineral supplement, that was based off a of vinegar extract and that is right here. And if you're interested in seeing that video and how I made that, I'll go ahead and link to that right up here. And then the other video I did was my thoughts on supplements, and I highly recommend you check that out. It's really one of those things that, you know, I hope you listen to what I have to say, and then make your own choices based on that. Sometimes we just kind of jump into taking things and doing things because a friend does it, some, we read it somewhere online, or a doctor told us, but we really need to use our own judgment and do our own research on these things. So I highly recommend you check out that video. I'll go ahead and link to it right up here. Now, this is going to be moving on to actually making the capsule supplements, and I'm going to give you a few ideas. Now, I did do a video a year or so ago about this, but I wanted to expand on that a little bit more and then talk to you about some other ways you can do this. I'm actually going to show you how I make these, but first I want to talk about some of your different options, and this is just to give you a head start to get you thinking about what you think is going to be good for you and what you need in your diet. Now, one of the ones I recommend the most is doing a turmeric and black pepper combination, and that would be doing uh, mixing three parts turmeric to one part pepper. So that means, let's say you put in you're, you're putting it in your bowl, put in three tablespoons of turmeric, one tablespoon of black pepper. Uh, when you're taking the turmeric in that form, then it is best to go ahead and mix it with something you know is going to help make it more bioavailable in the body, and the black pepper is a really good option for that. It's probably one of the best options when you're talking about this form. But as far as taking, you know, using turmeric and cooking and eating it in other ways, there are so many other things you can do with turmeric that you don't have to combine it with black pepper in order for it to be bioavailable in the body. In fact, just heating it alone, especially if you heat it in a good oil, you know, good healthy fat like olive oil. If you heat it gently, of course, you don't want to get olive oil too hot or coconut oil or something like that. Uh, that's going to be good right there. This is just more about making a capsule. Now, I also recommend you go check out my video on turmeric and do you really need black pepper. I'll go ahead and link to that right up here because I give a lot more ideas of what you can mix your turmeric with to make it bioavailable. Again, back to the capsules. Uh, some other options, and I thought I'd meant to mention this before, and then I noticed somebody else brought it up in my last uh you know, the one about my thoughts on supplements, and that is using your mixed greens blend if you don't have one already. Now, I'll go ahead and also link, if I'm not out of high cards yet, to my latest mixed greens blend right up here, and so you'll know what's in this. This one's actually from the previous year, but this year's 2000. 18 is going to be a little bit different than this one. But anyway, lots of good greens in here, dandelion greens, nettle, all kinds of great stuff that's just high in vitamins and minerals. If you don't want to make an extract with vinegar, uh, then a capsule form is a way to do that simply by powdering this up and then putting it in your capsules. Okay, and another one for getting a lots of calcium and magnesium together because eggshells are high in both is using your eggshells. And I, and I think I said in my last video, I did uh, in this particular jar, had powdered up some orange peel and mixed it in there too so I could also get a little vitamin C when I was taking those. But I really don't do the capsules anymore. I just take it a spoonful. I either mix it in with my, my extract or with my tea from the night before, it's cold, I'll just pour a little shot glass of that, put the eggshells in there and drink it. That's the way I actually do it the most. But uh, there's a couple different ways I like to take it. And uh, another one is your Moringa. This is another one I highly recommend that you make, uh, especially if you're not cooking with Moringa a lot, then consider making a capsule. Now, I don't do capsules out of some of this stuff simply because I already use it almost every day, if not every day in the different things that I cook so I don't concern myself with that. So such as the mixed greens, they go in so many different things that I make. 
um, as does the cayenne pepper, which is another great idea. I don't need to make capsules because I eat a lot of cayenne pepper every single day. I even put it in my coffee. It's in my mixed spice blend. It's also in my uh, latte, my jet fuel latte. Uh, ginger is another one. It's also another one I have every single day and uh, that gets added to my tea and my coffee if I'm drinking coffee that day and my jet fuel latte. So again, I don't make capsules out of that. Uh, I'll get to this one in a minute. Cinnamon is another option. Same thing as the ginger and the cayenne pepper. I don't need to make capsules. But these are just some ideas. If you're, if these aren't things you typically will cook with or eat every day, then I suggest making capsules out of them because there's so many great health benefits. And I could go on and on about that. But today is more about just some suggestions and uh, of types of capsules you should make and how to make them. Now two other things I recommend especially if you're dealing with uh, any kind of thyroid issues in, whether it be Hashimoto's, low thyroid, whatever we know that uh, sea vegetables are really really good for that so spirulina is one that you can do and then another one is your kelp and so another person had mentioned the kelp in my last video and I have had this for a while, I always forget about it, and we were taking it in a capsule form, and I just, I kind of forgot about it, and I need to make some more capsules, so this is going to be what I'm making the capsules out of today, is the kelp, and now the reason I choose these things like the moringa, the turmeric, and the kelp for making capsules out of, is because these are things I don't typically add to my food. I've tried using it. Turmeric, the only thing I use it in uh, baking wise or cooking wise is my homemade mac and cheese. It adds color and a nice flavor. I don't mind it being that color, but everything else, I don't like all of my food being this color. Otherwise, I don't mind the flavor. Uh, moringa is so-so. Uh, sometimes I just don't think about it. And then kelp, I've tried it a few times. Some people really like it. I don't mind the taste of kelp, but to add it in as a seasoning, I just am not really caring for it. So capsules are the way to go for us with the kelp. So that's why I'm going to use the kelp. And we're going to get busy on this. And then here are, I do have more in the back room. This jar is almost empty. But here are the, these are gel caps you can also get. And I always forget about this. And again, thank you for the person who mentioned that. I think it was Bernice about the uh, veggie caps. That's another option, especially if you're vegan. You might want to go with the veggie caps. I like to use the organic or non-GMO uh, gelatin caps because it's another way to get that good healthy gelatin into our diets if we're going to take capsules. Now typically for me I don't like to do a lot of capsules if I can help it because I have to be dependent on the gel caps because I don't really haven't figured out yet how to make these on my own and so this is just something else I have to buy but on the other hand it's really good to have these on hand you know if any kind of illness comes on you know having the moringa having the turmeric you know ready to take if we feel any kind of possible infection any colds we just take one of those and you know we don't take these daily we only take them if we feel like we absolutely need them and we find this really is just another way to help build our immunities and uh, keep us from getting sick so okay let's get busy on making the kelp capsule so i'm going to take you down here so you can see how i do it there are a few different options you can use when making your capsules and that is to buy, the, there's a special little capsule filler thing that you can buy online. I've looked them up, I've watched videos on how to use it, and personally for me, I don't see it going any quicker using that than doing it the way I do it. So it's totally up to you, but I will go ahead and link to one of those below if you're interested in the filler uh, that just holds your capsules and then you fill them and cap them and, and all that. But to me, after seeing that, I realized that I think I can do it just as quickly this way. So I always pour my capsules into the, you know, a lid so they're not rolling around on me. And then I like to put whatever it is that I'm filling into a small bowl. But I, I like these little rice bowls. They're perfect for this because they're just enough room for me to move around. You may want a bigger bowl because I have really tiny hands. But um, this is the perfect size for me. And I just, I actually fill both sides and get, especially the big side, I like to get it real full and then push the two ends together, tap it a little bit to get some of the excess uh, off the sides. And again, fill like that. And then you just keep going until you've got as many as you want made up. 
Okay, I'm zooming in nice and close, and let me do a couple more so you can see at a better, hopefully a better angle how I do this. So I just separate it out. I typically like to hold the bigger end in my right hand. And usually when I'm doing this, I'm not going this slow. I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So I fill both sides. Now if you're using the uh, filler, you can't do it this way. You can't fill both sides. You just fill the big side. Then you put the short side on. Uh, this way I'm getting more in each capsule by being able to do it this way. So let me do one more so you can see. Nice and close. Sort of, but my hands get in the way. Okay. And then just push it on there. Okay, so there's a few of those made up. Okay, and again, I will go ahead and link to the filler below, but before you purchase it, I suggest going and finding a video where people are using something like that and filling their capsules so you can see the process that's involved. Again, to me, when I see the whole process, I think it just looks like it takes actually longer uh, than doing it the way I do. Um, I'm demonstrating so I'm actually moving slower, but typically when I'm doing it, I can just do this pretty quick and I feel like I have a little bit less mess than that is involved in using those fillers. So just check that out first before you decide to purchase and you may just go, oh, well I can do that just as easy by you know, doing it individually one at a time. Now some, another thing I wanted to mention, I almost forgot about, and that is my homemade muscle rub. Now this may seem like it has nothing to do with <laughs> vitamin capsules, but I was talking about how I don't make capsules out of like the cayenne pepper because I get a, a lots of cayenne pepper in my diet every single day. And one of the ways I do that is through my homemade muscle rub because I have a cayenne pepper uh, infused oil that this is based off of. Now if you're interested in learning how I make my homemade muscle rub, this is just, I love this stuff. It really, really helps when I have sore muscles and joints. I will go ahead and link to that video up here if I have space. If not, I'll link to it right at the end and the end cards, though the end cards are those ones that pop up right at the end of the video that you can then click on and go right to from there at the end of the video. And uh, you can check out my recipe, but uh, getting that cayenne pepper both internally and from the external source. Remember anything you put on your skin, you rub into your skin, is going to get into your bloodstream. So that's another way to do it. Uh, and that applies to anything. So things that you don't want to take internally, because maybe you don't like the flavor or maybe it's just too much on your stomach. You, you know, coconut oil for example, some people can't uh, take the fat internally, they have a problem with it, but rubbing it on your skin is a good way to get all the benefits in that coconut oil into your body through another means. So that's just one way to do it. Okay, well I hope this was helpful, I hope you enjoyed this video, and that you learned something new. Thanks for watching, take care, and God bless.